And welcome back. It was another warm day across the viewing area. Thankfully, that mugginess is starting to decrease. It's going to continue to decrease as more dry air moves on in as going throughout the week. And tonight's forecast, 68 degrees, mainly clear. Those winds will be out of the north, right around 5 miles per hour or so. And for your Saturday, still very warm. Overall, we're going to remain warm. The problem is we're in what we call zonal flow right now. And I'll explain that in just a minute. But uh, that just generally means that, uh, that the, the flow generally is going to keep us pretty neutral in terms of weather patterns. We're not expecting any large systems to move on through for the next several days. Forecasted highs for tomorrow. Yeah, mid to maybe a few upper 90s. Those winds still out of the northwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And the heat of the seas will be in the upper 90s, near 100 degrees in some locations, especially down to the south. So just get ready for that. Here's radar satellite over the past several hours. We're not lucky. We do have a few clouds moving on in, but our lucky friends are out there near Lafayette and Alexandria, Louisiana, where they have some rain and showers moving on through. Yeah, that's not us. The closest we have is one little cell that's popped up in the southwestern corner of the state, and then it just dissipates. Yeah, that was our friend, but it went away. Yeah, yeah, we're all alone out here, just a few clouds, and that's about it. And that's going to be kind of the same pattern that we go through with the zone flow. Now, notice what that is. Zone flow is when you have the upper level winds that go very east to west. There's not a lot of up and down. You get those up and downs where, like, for instance, here's a low pressure system, so you have a trough, so the winds go around it like this. Zonal flow doesn't let those kind of impede on it, so we're going to stay very consistent and warm throughout the next several days, so just get ready for that. And you can see the dry air, and granted, we're looking at the mid levels here. The dry air back here will be filtering on in. That'll help reduce the mugginess, so that's the good news. Uh, but it's going to take it again several days before we get to that. Early next week, Cool conditions across the northeastern U.S. Unfortunately, not going to be us. We're going to be a little steamy because we will have some moisture start to return back because we do have some chances for showers and thunderstorms. Granted, it's going to be a little bit later on right now, and we're not talking large amounts of accumulation. The good news is, though, as well, we're not talking severe weather. Yeah, we'll take that. Thunderstorms will be impacting the central and the south central U.S. early next week, and that will eventually get to us. So your weather brought to you by Richard Schwartz and Associates. Here we go for your Saturday. 94 degrees, mostly sunny skies. 96 for your Sunday, still mostly sunny and warm overall. There's a very, very slight chance on Monday of some showers. We have a very slight chance every day, only about a 10%, and that's going to be with any little pop-up showers because we will be so warm. If we can get enough moisture in here, yeah, we can go up. Now, the one worry we have with these pop-up showers is we do have that dry air moving in in the mid-levels and the lower levels. And so if you have any showers that go up, as they rain, that rain goes through that dry layer. It can evaporate, cool it down, and then the cold air wants to sink, and you get microbursts out of that. So we have to be very cautious of those this time of year. We can't really forecast microbursts. You can just see it when a storm starts to collapse. Uh, yeah, and you'll feel it if you're outside because the winds will gust up very, very quickly. Here we go. We'll continue your seven-day plan. 96 for your Tuesday, 93 for Wednesday. Notice temperatures do start to cool down as we go on throughout the back half of next week, as well as precipitation chances are on the increase for Thursday and Friday. 